I store my clip art in a library file in Corel Draw. Rather than storing individual graphics in individual files, I'll store all like typed graphics together in one library file. The file that you're looking at here happens to be the um, fantasy clip art. And if we zoom in on this, you can see these are all pixies and fairies. Um, and if you'll notice, all of my graphics are roughly one inch high and they're spaced evenly in nice neat rows going across the page. I can store quite a bit in a single file this way. And I can also find them very easily and, and work with them. Since they're vector artwork, I can scale them down and not lose any quality. When I need to use one for a piece of artwork, I can copy this, paste it into a new graphic, scale it whatever size I need for that job, and I haven't heard anything with my individual or my, my library page. Uh, in order to maintain this easier and create these nice even rows and, and uh, order things, I've created a function called align size space, which helps me maintain that. Let's create a new file right here and we'll import some Christmas artwork. We'll place the uh, artwork here. This came in as uh, grouped as a group, so I will ungroup it now. I now have 12 objects on the page. I can now use the align size space to resize those and space them evenly in rows and make things a little bit easier to maintain. Uh, I can start by moving them around kind of where I want them and we'll select these and hit the align size space and you notice it automatically signs them and space them evenly. The height of the row is determined by the height of the, the leftmost item. So I'll put this one up about that high and that determines where that next row will be. And we'll move these over here. These can overlap, it doesn't make any difference. When I size and space them, they're all spaced evenly. So now we can add this and this, and we'll size and space. Let's now zoom in on this and take a look a little bit closer. Let's say I want to do some rearranging on this. And let's take Santa Claus and put him down there, and we'll put the reindeer down there, and we'll put all of the wreaths. We'll move this one around so it's with the other ones. Now we'll align those and we can select those and hit align say space. And you can see that we've now aligned the size of the second row. So you can see with that function you can very easily maintain the artwork, align them again, move them around, resize them and space them, and keep your artwork in, in nice manageable order. If there's anything that I can answer, any questions, uh, please email me and I'll be glad to help you out.